Next uh, film. Okay. <laughs> Our next film, good line, immediately makes my list of one of the year's best pictures. It's Cat People, a new sexual fantasy directed by Paul Schrader, the writer-director of such terrific films as Blue Collar, Hardcore, and American Gigolo, and the writer of such fascinating portraits of disturbed men as Taxi Driver and Raging Bull. Cat People is more fantasy-oriented than those films, but in its own way, I think it's just as special, telling the story of incest, animal lust, and sexual fear. This is what is known as a hot R-rated picture. Nastasia Kinski, the sexiest woman in movies today, stars as a mysterious young woman, a virgin, whose family history involves some weird sexual rituals with black leopards. In fact, her brother, Malcolm McDowell, a priest in New Orleans, can change himself, it seems, into a leopard. And in this scene, he's in a cat-like mood as he climbs the stairs of his house to spy on his sister, who has just moved in with him. beautifully directed scene assisted by the music of Giorgio Moroder. So far, he is just staring at her, Malcolm McDowell. Later in the film, he becomes more aggressive about his desires to have sex with her. He believes it is their destiny to be joined together because they share a common animalistic heritage. I've waited a long time for you. Oh, don't you touch me! But I'm the only one who can touch you. You're the only one who can touch me. Don't you see? We're safe together because we're the same. Hey, I'm not like you! Oh, yes, you are. You've always known it. Do you remember when you were a child, the animals used to call your name? And you knew in the dark when the others were dreaming, and you could never get to sleep. No, I'm not. I'm not in love. What will you do? Will you leap through his hoop? Hmm? Take his head in your mouth like an egg. I need you. Who are you? I need you. I need you. You're not my brother. If you think this film is coming out in favor of incest, well, I don't know, maybe it is, but much more important, I think that filmmaker Schrader is saying that incestuous feelings are present in the human animal. And this film, like so many of Schrader's movies, walk us through a lot of sexual taboos. Cat People also walks us through such emotionally loaded ideas as fear of loss of virginity, fear of turning into a sexual animal, of letting loose your darkest emotional desires. It's a film that is very challenging for a horror film, a film that proves, I think, that you don't have to be sleazy to be thrilling. I rank some of the scenes in this movie, in fact, with the work of the grand master of suspense and horror, Alfred Hitchcock. And I guess that's about as high a compliment as you can pay to any horror film. I also admire this film very much. One of the things I liked about it was the way that Schrader fairly fearlessly integrated myth and magic with everyday details of the guy cleaning out the cages at the zoo and so mm -hmm. forth. He handles and didn't, both worlds. Did, and didn't apologize for the fact that he is saying there is a world of magic that exists uh, co-equal with the, with the real everyday world that the rest of us inhabit. I think that's a very good point, and it is challenging. You know, people criticize films like this because mm -hmm. they're raunchy or something like that. It would be much easier to, to posit a very innocent, happy world like Neil Simon does, a very safe little mm -hmm. world. I think it's exciting. I think it makes the film more real when it gets fantastic. I would like to make another point, too, and that's about Nastasia Kinski, and this starts with a little story. Last Saturday night, I was out in the basement of a house of a friend of mine. He's a film buff, and he gathered a group of friends, and we watched four and a half hours of movie trailers right. from the early 50s. 
four and a half hours of all of these terrible movies, and during that entire time, only one person really jumped out of the screen and became alive, and it was Marilyn Monroe. Mm -hmm. I think Natasha Kinski has the same thing Marilyn Monroe had, whatever that is. There was something magic about her. I've seen her in three films now. I think she stands aside from all the other young actresses, and I hope I'm not going out on a limb, but I think she's remarkable. I think you're absolutely right. I mean, she is compelling. As soon as the camera comes on her in this movie, you're watching. Mm -hmm. Unpredictable, a strange look, an androgynous look, mm -hmm. perhaps. Um, I think that she is, is a perfect casting here, both her and Malcolm mm -hmm. McDowell. I think it's an absolutely terrific film. Okay, so a real good uh, uh, endorsement for Cat People. Two big yes votes, though, for Cat People, the Paul Schrader movie starring Nastasky Akinski as a young girl possessed by a leopard. We both admired the way the movie combined details of everyday life with elements of myth and magic. We think it's one of the best horror films we've seen in a long time. I agree.